Now, I was brought up in and around Soho, where you could hear music coming out of almost every doorway. And today, London is still the same. You can hear music coming out of house windows, shop windows, clubs, and even open car windows. But if I was to ask you what instrument would remind you of London's past rather than its present, what would you come up with? For me, the accordion springs to mind. It seemed to stop being hip, though, as soon as the guitar became the instrument that all the boys and then the girls wanted to play. But in the last couple of years, it seems to be re-emerging. Because recently, we've heard the accordion on albums by artists as diverse as the Goten Project, Cheryl Crow, Miss Dynamite, and even Bruce Springsteen. The Lodi family have been repairing and selling accordions for 50 years, so where better to come to find out if there really is a re-emergence of this beautiful and fascinating instrument than their shop here in Lewisham. So how long has this place been in the family? Uh, this shop I opened in 1978, but uh, my dad had his business started in the shop in North London in roughly the early 60s, basically. Yeah. So you grew up in a world of accordions? Totally. Yeah, it's always been part of the family. I used to play one when I was a uh, little boy. And it's lovely to be in a shop of such beautiful things. This is a particularly fine one. What's this one? Uh, that's an old pre-war instrument made in the 1930s. Uh, it was popular in the day. And in fact, this one next to it doesn't quite look uh, as ornate, but that was one actually made by my father completely uh, in the kitchen. Uh, he was so knowledgeable that he actually just sat down and constructed a complete accordion and that's it and it still works beautifully today um, unfortunately he passed away just a few weeks back but um, he was 91 and had a good life he used to have a board across two windows there was one window on that wall and one window on that wall a board across and he'd have all the reeds and things and then I'd go and play at a friends houses and I always remember they give me the, the old thruppenny bit you know and then if I was lucky I'd get half a crown which was amazing if they had a big dinner and lots of friends round, then e eventually it was inevitable that Claudio would whip out his accordion and, um, you know, we'd, we'd sort of get involved with a bit of music at that point. The Elodi Orchestra, rather small in numbers, but with a big sound play weddings, bar mitzvahs and large social gatherings. But Emilio's regular income comes from his ability to repair and restore accordions. So how long would it take you to restore a, an accordion? Uh, to do it properly, all these reeds have to be taken off the blocks, cleaned, revalved. There's about 400 valves on, on a full-size accordion. Up to a two weeks, really, to do the job properly. Don't they make electric ones of these yet? They do. <laughs> so it would save me a lot of work, basically, because uh, every two weeks that I've got for every accordion I've got to do is uh, pushing my, my queue for work back to around about two years now. Which is an irony, really, because you'd imagine this is, uh, this is work that's fading out. It, that's right. There's very few people left who can actually do this sort of work. Um, I mean, literally four or five that I would trust my accordion with uh, in the country, basically. Hey Romano, how are you? All right, thanks. And you? Very well, thank you. Sorry to drop in on you. I've got a sticky button. As always. Is it Romano, by the way? I've heard Romano. of you. How are you, Romano? All right. Romano yeah, Viettani yeah, yeah. is one of the most respected Great. players Great. in the country. And Romano, is everyone involved in the accordion Italian around here? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've actually got quite a, a good uh, crop now of, of homegrown talent here in, in the UK. There's even the new accordion syllabus, so you could, like, like the piano, you can study it up to grade eight now. I think it's certainly having a bit of a resurgence in all different types of music, certainly in classical, in, in jazz, in world music, of course. And there are quite a few pop bands now that are, are using it. on television, mm, yeah. film soundtracks. I use it to, um, to play in a band. I use it a lot in my writing. 
when I write stuff for film and TV and adverts. I think it's always been accepted as a traditional sound, but I think, I believe, you know, people are much more open to different sounds in general, and the accordion's one of those that you can use, and um, I, I tend to try and sometimes sneak it in. If it's not a specifically French or Italian uh, piece or something like that, Irish, then I'll just try and sneak it in and people don't normally notice. When you were here before Come look you in the eye You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world it was early rock music that threatened the accordion in the first place, but Dan and his band, the Cosmic Sausages, are playing contemporary music with more traditional instruments, including the accordion. But the once elitist world of classical music at one time wouldn't have anything to do with a squeeze box. Uh, one of the significant developments of the instrument in this country, I think, was in 1986, almost exactly 20 years ago, when the Royal Academy of Music, for the first time, decided to accept the accordion. I was lucky enough to be the first student. The, the young people coming out of the Academy now, after 20 years, are really outstanding. I mean, far and, uh, far and away, the, the standard is, is higher than it was when I first went there. Of course, they're not just trained in, in classical music, and they've got great respect for all kinds of music. Did a lot of classical stuff originally when I left college um, and then did uh, done a one-off gig with Blur, a um, couple of years touring with Divine Comedy, which was fun. Take the National Express when your life's in a mess, it'll make you smile. And now a lot of this Sophie Solomon band, which is on the up, it's really branching out into all sorts of spheres. I mean, I, I do uh, Raw Shakespeare Company, West End shows, classical stuff, and pop music. You know, after the Second World War, it was pretty much, it's, you know, went very much out of fashion. And I think it's coming back to the point where hopefully more kids are going to start playing. <laughs> I know that it's you I need to take the blues away It must be love, love, love It must be love, love, love Nothing more, nothing less, love is the best So it would seem these old squeeze boxes really are a part of our past, our present and our future